On today's episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the Motor Vessel So Union continues to burn in the Red Sea. I'm your host, Sal Mercogliano. Welcome to today's episode. I'm going to quote from my favorite video game, Ship is on Fire. Why is not World of Warships not sponsoring us? I, a perfect addition for the World of Warships sponsorship, I think. But probably more World of Container Ships, World of Cargo Ships, world of tankers uh, i'm not sure that's an exciting game or not but they would be perfect sponsors for what's going on with shipping we're going to talk about what's happening right now with the motor vessel so union still on fire in the red sea after the attacks staged by the houthi if you're new to the channel hey take a moment subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so be alerted about new videos as they come out so here's the story over at g captain mike Schuller. the houthi attack on oil tanker sparks fear of environmental disaster the so union had been ablaze since august 23rd however we have new images being released by the european union's red sea naval mission what is known as operation as speeds showing that flames and smoke are still rising from the ship's main deck this is the video released by the Houthi showing three large explosions taking place on the main deck of So Union. Now, these were charges set by the Houthi. What we don't know is what type of explosives were used and what is burning here. Is this the crude oil that is burning on board or is this remnants of the charges? You can see materials spilling off the ship into the sea. This explosions we know ruptured the main deck in several places leading to a fire of the cargo but so union was carrying iraqi crude oil crude oil is very difficult to ignite crude oil if you've ever seen it is is almost like tar it's like a very viscous heavy material and to get a material to burn you have to heat it up and start producing gases off of it you need to turn a liquid into a vapor that requires high heat and it's not exactly clear if the fire we're seeing there in that video is just the explosive materials or the cargo burning now we know that so union does catch fire now this is not the first time that the houthi have done this go back to the motor vessel tutor a bulk carrier the houthi attached scuttling charges to the side and rear of the vessel to open the ship up to the sea however in the case of so union the charges were on deck not alongside so perhaps the houthi were not trying to create a massive environmental disaster i'm not saying they haven't done so yet but they may have not been deliberately trying to cause the ship to sink at this point now if so union does go down it will rank as the fifth worst tanker spill in history behind four others that start off with atlantic empress and end down with amico cadiz uh, if you look at some other incidents that aren't on that chart, you may know of Exxon Valdez, for example, the entire ship didn't sink. Exxon Valdez only lost about a fifth of its cargo, about 37,000 tons out of almost 200,000 tons on board. So Union is carrying 150,000 tons of crude oil. So here is the position of So Union out in the Red Sea. Uh, this was from uh, Tom Bike over on Twitter. He also has some satellite imagery showing the vessel on fire shortly after the explosion and burning. This is the images released by the European Union. And what we see is So Union still burning with fire coming from multiple points on the main deck. In particularly, we see that the ship's bridge has burnt out. Not sure if there was a charge deliberately set in the bridge or else the bridge took the brunt of the aft explosion and it rained in. But a burnt out bridge is not a good indicator for whether or not you're going to be able to salvage and pilot this vessel. The other thing you see here to note is, number one, is the ship is anchored. The port anchor is down. So, so Union is in an anchored position as we speak. You can see the white smoke coming off from the aft superstructure, but numerous fires along the hull with black smoke coming out of it. What's interesting to note is the explosion has seemed to penetrate the main deck. And what they have caused is vents inside the tanks and understand how a tanker works 
uh, oil tankers are divided into multiple tanks. It's almost like the inside of an ice cube tray where you have divisions going longitudinally lengthwise and some going athwart ships sideways. And so you divide it up into sector. In the case of So Union here, we see that these holes have been blown. Sometimes they're coming from ports or hatches, but these holes have been blown. Inside is the crude oil that has been heated enough to give off vapor. And then what you get is almost a pilot light effect. Remember, you have the fire tetrahedron. You need three elements for combustion. You need fuel, you need air, and you need heat. And they're getting this right here. Now, I should note, the fact that the fire is coming from limited points means that salvage of this vessel is possible. If you can get a salvage vessel and water on this fire, you should be able to knock out those fires that are emanating from the holes. You should be able to cool the, the structure of the vessel, the hull, and perhaps get this fire under control on this vessel so the ship can be salvaged. However, you are not getting commercial salvage vessels into this area. No one is taking a commercial tug into this area to salvage this vessel because of the Houthi threat. You would need not just a naval escort, but you would need massive amounts of protection. Now, navies have salvage vessels, but in the case of the U.S. Navy, they have three. One of them is going away, Catawba, which is up in Bahrain. It is being taken out of service. The other two are oceans away from here. They're building new ones, the Navajo class, but they're not going to be in service for months, if not years yet. So the lack of salvage vessels is critical here. So these fires are running unchecked on board. So Union, they can expand. We can see structural damage to the vessel. We'll start seeing the tankage, the piping begin to deteriorate because of the heat. And we may start seeing that spill. What you don't get from these images are large massive sheens of oil on the water yet. So there is a potential to avert this disaster, but it's going to take some prompt action to get the situation on board so Union under control. Unfortunately, the focus of the U.S. Navy is not on the Red Sea. It has been diverted. The two main carrier strike groups in the region, the Theodore Roosevelt and the Abraham Lincoln, are up in the Arabian Gulf watching the situation regarding Iran because of overt threats by Iran to Israel. The WASP amphibious ready group is in the Mediterranean and there's almost no U.S. naval presence anywhere near the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden or the Bab el Mandab. One destroyer, USS Cole, has been reported to be in the Northern Red Sea, but no other assets. The European Union's operation at Spitz has about four vessels in the area, but they are being used to escort high-value targets through the region. Uh, the U.S. Navy has got other assets. Unfortunately, they're just not in that region. We just saw the sailing of three carriers off the coast of the Atlantic. This is the Eisenhower, the Truman, and the Ford. This was basically an ammunition swap taking ammunition from Ford and from Eisenhower and consolidating it on the Truman. The ship in the background there is the USNS William McLean, a key resource here to, uh, to facilitate the transfer of ammunition to prepare the Truman to deploy to the Mediterranean. I just talked about this entire topic in a podcast. I'll have the link to it in the show notes. So that if you want to talk about what's happening with logistics and supply and the U.S. Navy's Military Sealift Command, I talk about it in that video. So we're not sure what is happening with So Union. The, sim the imagery we initially had was pretty bad. That explosion, based on the track record of the Houthi detonating and sinking Tudor, gave us the indication that So Union was going to go down and you're going to see a 150,000 ton oil spill in the region. Now, we still may see that. Let me be clear. The ship is not out of danger yet. Having fires burning unchecked on the vessel is a sure way to send it to the bottom. We saw that with Ruby Mar and other vessels. So that we need to see prompt action to prevent this from happening. The problem is the Houthi are their own worst enemies. They set those charges. They set the ship on fire and very nearly sent this ship down to the bottom. The question is, who's going to go in and salvage this vessel? Don't forget, last year, the United Nations, along with a concentrated 
concerted effort by the world drained the FSO Safer, a offshore storage unit, of oil to ensure that there wasn't a massive environmental damage to the Houthi and Yemen. And now the Houthi are doing everything they can to create another one off their coast. And this is going to require the Houthi to back off, but I don't think they will because they have shown no compulsion to do this. This region is under a concentrated attack by the Houthi against shipping. Delta tankers, this is the third Delta tankers to be hit. We can go into the argument, why is Delta tankers still sending tankers through here? Very simply, it is cost effective for them to do it because the war risk insurance is less than the cost to go around. That may be different now that So Union is on fire and potentially a constructive total loss, if not sinking. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hey, take a moment, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to be alerted about new videos as they come out. Also, check to make sure you're still subscribed. I'm amazed by the number of subscribers I have who have been unsubscribed by YouTube. I've gotten over a thousand subscribers back to the channel. I don't know why YouTube does it. Support the page. How do you do that? You can give it a big thumbs up. You can share it across social media and you can hit the super thanks button down below. You can also go on over to Patreon and become a monthly or yearly subscriber. Until the next video, Sal, signing off.